Baker. Hey guys, I'm Lisa from the Chocolate Carousel. I'm pretty sure Rush just gave me the finger. <laughs> he was counting down, but I'm pretty sure it was hidden in there. Hidden messages. Never. Welcome Never. on live today, Never. guys. Um, first, I want to start off by wishing a happy birthday to my friend Christine. Yesterday was her birthday, so we're just gonna have a little candle here. Russ, happy birthday, Chris, from the Chocolate Carousel, and especially from me. I hope all your wishes come true. Russ gave me the finger right before this. All right, so today on live, we're working on our no-bake series. So we don't have to turn our ovens on and get all heated in the heat of the summer. And so I stepped it up a little bit this week. We did those cute little uh, granola bars last uh, week with the nuts and the peanut butter and all of that. If you missed it, you can go watch it on my Facebook page. Um, but today we're making chocolate lasagna. So just reaching back to my Italian roots, I'm like, what can we make and how can we make lasagna even better? Let's make it chocolate lasagna. When I told this to Russ, he seemed a little cynical about it. Let's see if we can make him a believer. I think we can. This is what it looks like when it's all done. No baking involved. It's a really simple recipe. You just need some time for it to set up. So let's go over here to the mixer. I'll show you how we get this done. We're gonna start off with heavy cream. This is the basis for this recipe. And you need three and three quarters cups of heavy cream to go down into your mixing bowl with a whisk because we're basically gonna whip this up into whipped cream. So now we get one. I need another car in. I hope you guys are all enjoying your summer. And this is gonna be a great recipe that you can put together the night before so you don't have to spend a lot of time with it in the kitchen. And get out there and enjoy your summer. All right, so three and three quarters cups of the, of the heavy cream into the bowl. And I'm just gonna turn that on, get it to start going just slowly while I add the other ingredients to it. So this is the basis of whipped cream. You're basically gonna add air to this cream to make a whipped cream base. But we wanna sweeten it a little bit, so I'm gonna add a half a cup of confectionery sugar. Just gonna add that down in there. One teaspoon of vanilla, just for some flavoring. If we just let this go and we turn it up and whip it, we'll have a nice whipped cream. But this is chocolate lasagna, folks, so we're gonna add some cocoa powder to this. So a half a cup of cocoa. This is where the mess might come into play. Living on the edge here. going to make our whipped cream cocoa just by adding that chocolate to it. So now I'm going to turn this up. And once it all gets incorporated in there, I want to go up to a high speed and let this whip into cream. You want to aerate it, get a lot of air in there, and that's how we'll get the whipped cream. already starting to thicken. You can see if you look around the edges. Sometimes I give it a little lift just to get the top and then the bottom. You don't want to over whip this, but you don't want to under whip it. So you want to keep your eye on it while this is happening. As soon as it comes to peaks and forms nice thick peaks like you're starting to see here, that's how we know we have what we need. We've got our whipped cream. I'm going to turn it off and just check it. Oh yeah. That looks good. Nice and velvety and creamy and firm so it'll stand up. 
Okay, this is gonna be the basis, the cheese part of our lasagna. Got it? Okay. I also wanna make a chocolate ganache that's gonna go between the layers for this, and I need one and a half cups of chocolate chips to do that. Um, back up a second there, Russ. Gotta get a towel. <laughs> Could lick my fingers but that probably wouldn't be appropriate okay so one and a half cups of chocolate chips you want viewers right i do i do i'm not sure that would help all right <laughs> one and a half cups of chocolate chips love you russ i really mean that it's sincere there we go and so with that i'm going to add three quarters of a cup of heavy cream so I'm back to my heavy cream again. And I'm gonna use that just to cover and coat the chocolate chips. Melt this all together, and this is gonna give me my ganache. Now you can do this over the stove, just remove, melt the chocolate, remove it from the heat, and add the cream. I'm just gonna do it in the microwave. So I'm gonna put, just mix this together, go a minute in the microwave, and see where we get. Italian music. Meh. Nah, it's not the greatest. I agree. <laughs> gotta work with what we've got. <laughs> All right. So while that is starting to melt, I'm gonna get my first layer in the pan. Because with lasagna, it's all about layering the ingredients. And we're working with these Oreo thins with this recipe. Have you had these? No. I mean, Nabisco needs to hire me because I am a fan of these. They're basically Oreos, but they're really thin. So they still have a cream in the middle, but a really thin chocolatey outside. These are delicious. And um, I guess they're diet food because it says thin. So, I mean, I'm taking it and running with it. You know, eat these, you'll get thin. So we're going to start with the whipped cream in the bottom. You believe me, right? Totally. Put the chocolate whipped cream down in the bottom of a pan. And I'm just using this tin pan here because easy cleanup. You can use a glass, like a Pyrex dish too, if you want. You can get a fancier kind of uh, dish so you can see the layers, but I like this. It's summer and we're trying to go for easy and simple and fun. So this works. So I get a layer of my chocolate whipped cream down on the bottom. And that's gonna start us off. I'm gonna check on my ganache, because it did beep. And when you when it comes out, vigorously stir. You wanna mix that chocolate and that cream together. Okay, and it will come together for you. One minute's all it took, really easy in the microwave, and you don't have to worry about burning it that way. So that's my ganache. And that's gonna go in between the layers also. So I've got my first layer of whipped cream down. Now I'm gonna add a layer of these Oreo thins. And we're just gonna place them in. Mm-hmm, yep. You can eat one along the way if you need to. I understand, I totally understand, but you may want run one short at the end and then you only have yourself to blame so have an extra bag just in case so where I couldn't fit a whole cookie I left a little space I like to alternate that on either side and I'm gonna go back and fill it in so I'm just gonna break a few in half fill in those those spaces because you don't want any space okay now drizzle a little bit of this ganache over the top and all this is is melted chocolate chips and cream so nothing fancy just pure deliciousness Mm -hmm. 
You're starting to become a believer in this chocolate lasagna thing, aren't you? Well, it's, it looks pretty good. Yeah. There's nothing bad about this. Another layer of whipped cream, and you're just going to continue to layer this till you get to the top. So we're going to have another layer here, and then just our top layer will finish it. So one more layer of cookies in between. Maureen just shared us. Oh, awesome. Thanks, Maureen. You're welcome. We got Erica today? She hasn't said anything. Erica, where are you, girl? You mean she actually had something to do other than watch me on live? Oh, hey, no. Huh. She'll catch up with me later, that's for sure. I'm on to my second pack now of the Oreo Thins. You need about two, two packs for this, maybe two and a half. Because you want to definitely have a nice filled in layer. You don't want to have gaps. It makes all the difference when you cut this up. This is gonna go, remember, there's no baking involved, so this is gonna just go in your fridge at least six hours. Because what happens is the cream is gonna soften these Oreos and it makes it a really nice layer in between. So I'm you sorry. wanna leave. I, I apologize. Erica's been here the whole time. Erica! The whole time. I knew it, Erica. I the knew whole it. Time. But of course, I listened to Russ. That, that, See yeah, how I'm, this is what happens. That's terrible, my bad. Will it work in a trifle bowl or would it be too deep? No, I think it would be okay in a trifle bowl, but it might lose the lasagna ness of it. Is lasagna ness a word? I think it could lose the lasagna ness of it. I think it's a word now. It is. I think it is. Um, because it, the whole thing of the lasagna is these long layers. But in a trifle bowl, you could just call it something different. There's nothing wrong with that. Maureen wants to co-host, too. All right. Send us an email, Maureen. We'll get Russ on it. All right, I put a little bit more ganache there. I'm topping it with the last layer of the chocolate whipped cream. <laughs> no listening to Russ. <laughs> <laughs> Good guys, advice. You guys are funny. Good advice. <laughs> now we really we, we do love Russ. It's a special kind of <laughs> Russ and I have a special kind of relationship. Yeah, yeah, very special. <laughs> we don't have enough time to discuss it. But he definitely likes the treats that we make here on live. I think that's what keeps they, him coming they, back they and are, dealing with me. They are fantastic. All right. Out so got my yourself. last layer of the chocolate whipped cream on the top and i'm just gonna finish this so you, we can finish it with the ganache you want to use the rest jackie says you did her sister's 60th birthday and it was awesome oh thank you jackie and happy 60th to your sister okay i want to use every bit of this why because it's delicious that's why so i want to get it all out of here and onto the top of this lasagna. And give yourself a nice coating of chocolate at the top. Now you can top this with some crushed um, of these Oreo thins if you want to. That will work. You could put anything really that you like on the top. I'm gonna use chocolate and white sprinkles just because I think it's pretty and it's festive and the white sprinkles kind of remind me of like cheese to fit in with my whole lasagna theme. So I just mix chocolate and white sprinkles and I'm just gonna spread that along on the top. Look at that. You can pretend it's your little Parmesan sprinkle or spices or whatever you like. Okay, so that's our chocolate lasagna. This needs to set up. It needs to go into the fridge. I usually will just cover it with a piece of saran wrap, put it into the fridge, it'll stay there overnight, six hours if you're trying to use it the same day you make it or do it the night before, pop it in for overnight. When you take it out, it's going to set up. I've got one over here. And you'll be able to slice it. Just come right in here and slice it up just like you would with lasagna so that you get some nice pieces. 
remember this is chocolate on the top so it'll harden a little bit. I'm gonna serve out a piece so you can see what it looks like. Ken wants to know if you could use mini marshmallows. Why not? That would be really cute on the top. You could even toast them up a little bit if you have a little, like a little uh, creme brulee torch. You could toast them up a little bit, that would be cute. All right, so just like a piece of lasagna that comes right out of the pan, you've got the layers of the chocolate whipped cream in there with the Oreo thins and the ganache. This is an awesome dessert. No baking involved, so you don't have to heat up your oven. Just need a pan and some ingredients in your fridge and you're good to go. I know this piece has your name on it, Ross. Oh, man. Check it out. And this pan makes, I mean, this would give me 12 big squares. You could cut these smaller. You could get a lot of servings out of a pan like this. Leftovers are not a bad thing, so feel free to make a nice big batch. Thank you guys so much for joining me on live today. I really appreciate you being here. This Friday is my garden themed cake decorating class. There may be two or three spots left in that class. Check it out, it's filling up fast. We'd love to have you join us if you can't make it this Friday. The following Friday, the fourth, is going to be our mermaid themed cake decorating class. So you can come and join us for that one. We'd love to have you. It's gonna be super fun and mermaids are all the rage right now. Oh my goodness, look what's happening, Russ. We're being attacked. Yeah. I think these are lasagna tasters coming in. You got your professional <laughs> Italians here. Professional <laughs> lasagna tasters. Everybody is Italian? Okay, good. For pieces. Excellent, excellent. All right, let me serve this up. Let me serve this up. You see, this is why we don't make a lot of profit here, because we eat a lot of the profits. <laughs> we need to make sure All right, works. take one and pass it down, girls. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. Where are the plates? Oh, thank you so much for joining me on live. I appreciate you being here with me. I will be here next Wednesday. I'm going to have a special guest. Stay tuned and see who it is. You're going to love it. Have a great week. Bye, Say bye, girls. We got we got to taste. We're staying live till we're done tasting. All right, we're staying live till we're done tasting. Liz, no, come on in. No, 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 Liz, come on in. We have to taste. Liz, you have to taste. We're, we're in the middle of a tasting. We need Liz to taste too. Oh, Here we go, Liz. Okay, okay. Do we you taste. Are? Liz, you're on live. Yes, you cannot lie. Here you go. Okay. Okay. Who did this? Jenny. Just mm. little Jenny. No mm. good. No good. <laughs> Judy calls. What do you think? It's delicious. It's very oh, chocolate. Yummy? Mm -hmm. Yeah? All right. I think they approve. <laughs> that really is really good. I'm coming back. <laughs> Liz is back. <laughs> she came back for more. That says something. It's really good. All right. Somebody's got to do a little work around here. Bye, guys. See you next Wednesday. Bye. Bye. I haven't switched forever.